Hi, Chris Geller here again with Pinnacle Training Consulting Systems. We're not talking about the importance of lumbar pelvic stabilization training. When I talk about that, I'm talking about the balance between the extensor muscles, which are on the backside, and the front, which are your flexors or the abdominals. And really, there's three parts of that. There's the internal layer, which we talk about anatomically, which we did in previous videos, which I'm going to review. If you can see inside here, this is the disc. The disc is between each bone. And on the back side of that are ligaments. You also have tendons and muscles. These structures, these internal layers, provide support and a little bit of stability. The middle layer is considered four muscles. It's the transverse dominus in the front, the obliques that come from an angle, the multifidus, which goes from the sacrum all the way to the uh, occiput, and then the quadricemborum, which goes from the 12th rib to the crest. As I said previously in the videos, and it's in the manual as you can see, there's 29 muscles that wrap around the front and wrap around the back. But the four that I'm talking about today, four I've talked about in the course, and hopefully this clarifies, these four horsemen, their role and their job is to provide stability in the front and the back. As previously I've said, when someone has a low back injury, typically the transverse abdominus, which is again coming from the side here, is almost shut off like a valve. And the reason why Paul Hodges did this research out of Australia is that that neural input from the brain here, there's a disconnect. So as a therapist, I want to train those patients to get to that firing again. So that's one thing I want to say. The obliques provide stability on the side, that's that side support which does uh, unilateral side bending. The multifidus, which again is from here, from the sacrum all the way up to the um, occiput, is a small muscle that provides support stability. And studies by Hodges, by Guanjal, and others, someone who has chronic low back pain, the multifidus is not working efficiently. As a matter of fact, they're not contracting it and they're using other muscles to compensate. And the QL, which goes from the 12th rib to the iliac crest, is typically tighter and weaker. So if someone has tightness in the QL and they have trigger points, which remember are little clumpy balls where there's a lot of uh, irritants inside that develop from compensation, that can cause pain down in the buttock area. If it's on the lateral over here, it can cause pain on the outside. That's been studied by Travelton Simmons. It's studied by um, Vladimir Yanda. And we've talked about how to assess the, the QL in the previous videos. We've talked about how to stretch that. Something you need to look at your clients, which I think is really important. And lastly, we talk about the deep layer. The deep layer is of the body is the muscles from the lower back, and that's the erector spinae. And in the manual, you'll see that it's a large group of muscles that go from the sacrum all the way up to the occiput. So that's the deep layer. So there's three main layers. The internal layer, which again is inside, discs, ligaments, um, soft tissue, connective tissue, middle layer, which we talked about, four horsemen, then the back side, and on the front, and then we talk about the deep layer, which is the erector spinae. So last, we talk about the core, the importance of the core. You know, I can't stress it enough. It's in the manual. We hear it all the time. Why do we do core strength from our clients or our patients? Because everything comes from here, whether it be hitting a baseball, whether it be moving from sit to stand, whether it be getting out of bed, everything comes from the lumbar pelvic junction. So if this is weak, the periphery, which means the legs and the arms are going to be weaker. If this is weak, this is the rest of the effect. We've already talked about previously that the weak links of the lower back are the PLL, the discs are situated more backwards, and the basically the tissue, the, the muscles down here are even thinner and weaker than the front. So that's more of a reason why we want to work on understanding the core. We've talked about how to assess it previously. You have some great techniques how to assess it. And we've talked some exercises to strengthening as well. And next section, we'll continue on with some more integrative training principles and move forward.